Today's story is called the parable of the unjust steward. One day, Jesus was talking to his disciples and he told them this story. He said there was a rich man that was told that his manager was wasting money. So he called him in and asked him, what is this that I hear about you? Show me your accounts and what happened to this money. Because of this, you can no longer be my manager and you're fired. The manager thought to himself, what should I do? I won't have a job and I'm not strong enough to dig and I'm ashamed to beg. And he thought, I know what I'll do. When I lose my job here, people will welcome me into their houses. So he called in each of the people that owed his master money. He asked the first, how much do you owe my master? The man said 900 gallons of olive oil. The manager told him, take your bill, sit down quickly and make it 450. Then he asked the second, how much do you owe? He said, a thousand bushels of wheat. He told him, take your bill and make it 800. The master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly or wisely. Then Jesus said, the people of this world are more wise in dealing with their own kind than Christians are. Then he told them to use their money to gain friends for themselves so that when it's gone, they would be welcomed into eternal dwellings. Wait a second, this story is pretty strange. Is Jesus saying that it's good to be dishonest like this manager? Well, no. He's pointing out what people in this world do when using their position or money to build friendships and relationships with those around them. Because this manager helped these people who owed his master money, it's likely that later they would welcome him in when he was in need. Jesus is telling us as Christians to be even more generous and wise with our money than the people of this world. He wants us to use our money to make friends. There was a time in my life where God told me to leave everything that I was doing and everything that I had to go and work on a ship. But guess what? This ship wasn't somewhere that I would make money. Actually, it was somewhere that I had to pay money to go to. But what God told me was to use the money that I had saved and go and join this ship. While I was there, I had a chance to meet so many different people from all around the world. I even got to share with many of them about Jesus, and some of them decided that they wanted to follow Jesus for themselves. God used the fact that I gave up of my time and what I had, and He used it for far greater things than I could have ever used it for. He used it to change people's lives forever. So basically what Jesus is asking us is do we want to spend our money on things like new toys, new electronics, new games, and things like that? Or do we want to use it to change people's lives? What do you want to do with your money? Thanks for watching.